What's up guys, Bloodshed here, bringing you a Diablo 3 patch 265 PTR update for season 17. Now these notes got updated on April 22nd, but I wanted to actually get my hands on the patch and test it before I make the video. That way I can show some footage alongside. So first things first, adjustments have been made to enemy health and damage in Torment 14, 15, 16 to better match Greater Rift 65, 70, and 75 respectively. So we suspected this right away. We sent feedback to Blizzard. I always thought T16 was off and apparently it was too high so they balanced it. It feels a lot better now. It makes more sense to a GR75 and they also increased the rewards for Infernal Machines, Organs, and Greater Rift Keys are now four Greater Rift Keys for T16. That's really awesome. I love the change there. So with the second version of the patch, Akan's Leniency, which is one of the biggest multipliers of the Blessed Shield set, took a huge hit about a 66 percent nerf to this item now the other item is still buffed like the the shield and the weapon and all that stuff all the other stuff is still strong we ran the numbers we tested it um i did about a thousand paragon with no augments and we were crushing a gr 100. now by the time you get full ancient you might be around a thousand to twelve hundred paragon but it does feel really good you still have that impact even if it went live with you know, the 66% nerf to Khan's leniency, it still feels amazing. And I wouldn't let this shy you away from the set whatsoever. So yeah, at least you get to see there's no augments, only a thousand Paragon, and we're destroying the Rift. So you should have no problem cracking into the 120s if you have more Paragon and augments and things like that. The build is a little squishy at the higher levels, but you can always switch to the Holy Rune and we'll get into that. I'll probably do a video on it and basically walk you guys through everything all the different options available chan toto's will so what happened was it used to tick like crazy like there was this epilepsy thing where it would just go like a light show and what they did was they took the crazy ticks and the attack speed and they just made the damage go up so now the four thousand percent just applies to the pulse so it pulses slower but it hits hard it's honestly not noticeable and the Shantoto veer set retained all of its power before the season goes live so these aren't the final numbers this is just the second wave and usually the patch adjustments get less and less and they find a nice balance so you can even use the Chantoto set with firebird which we'll cover in our starter videos also coming out before the season goes live for so check for that up next we have the grace of anarius the six piece bonus went from 30,750 to 10,000 a nice beautiful buff for anarius i spent about 20 minutes on the build got a feel for it it's definitely t16 capable we're gonna min max that on stream tomorrow i need more time with it we did a little pushing with it and it feels a little underwhelming even though they buffed it to ten thousand percent damage we did try it with the iron rose item i feel like the iron rose is maybe not proccing like it used to proc or now we have to do a lot of testing still for anarius t16 was fine Pushing just felt weird and maybe there's other builds out there and we'll try to find them. Here's the big one. Rapid fire got buffed. So Sin Seekers now adds 250 to 300% rapid fire damage to rapid fire and the assaulter rapid fire deals 75 to 100% increased damage for every half a second that you channel stacks from four to 30 times. This is insane. This is so crazy. Even though it's not overpowered right now, it's just so crazy. I almost, I cubed the um assaulter weapon because even if you get like let's say you get a 99 percent weapon it stacks 30 times so that's 30 percent damage you're losing on your multiplier so it's insane you're gonna have to get a primal or you're gonna have to cube it and just use the dawn we're still working through the builds but long story short the rapid fire lawn demon hunter is viable again no augments a thousand paragon and it's hella tanky and you have all this life per hit and we just kind of threw the build together so we're going to perfect it over the next few days get the build out to you guys i don't know how it'll work out but at least with the lawn set if you ever wanted to play rapid fire now is your chance there might not ever be another lawn season so go 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 <laughs> we had some bug fixes to try goal six piece wasn't working with simulacrum on the ptr i guess the only thing that really matters to you guys is now dagger darts is working this guy on the ptr leaderboard lay austin shout out to lay austin he has 1700 paragon and almost no augments almost no augments here very few like one or two he used the dagger of darts carnival build with zuni and is performing really well he did a 115 and there's similar people using the lawn version 
you know, with dagger darts doing a 115. So the dagger dart build looks solid. I didn't get a chance to play it myself, but we have theory crafted a lot of builds. So we're going to definitely thoroughly test it today. I guess when you're watching the video today here on stream, at least we know it's working and things are going well. It was some issues with Blood Siphon and Shadow's Mantle and Reaper's Wraps got reverted. So we told people that the Shadow's Mantle nerf, it was just a bug. So they reverted the change. And the same thing with the Reaper's Wraps. Reaper's Wraps was restoring full resource. So they went ahead and reverted the change. So what's going to happen? I'm going to have some torchlight footage for you later today on YouTube. And then we're going to start cranking out. Diablo 3 PTR videos here on the channel. I might fit in another Pagan video here and there whenever I can, just to give you guys more gameplay, more footage, give you guys more stuff to watch on YouTube. I'm trying to be a daily uploader, you know, at least as much as I can. All my builds will be on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash bloodshed. The build page looks better. I, I did a guy, I gave it a little facelift recently and I really enjoy the way it looks now. It was getting kind of cluttered beforehand. Shout out to all the new patrons like Josh Bailey. Thank you for all your support on stream. And now you're a patron. Really appreciate you, bro. It means a lot that you support the content and what we do here. You can always follow me on twitch.tv slash bloodshed. I'll be testing this live today when you're watching it. It says the PTR is up until Friday, so we're gonna be testing it. We got Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. They might extend the PTR again. We don't know, so I'm gonna get all the footage, all the research I can in the next three days get all the big videos out, and then we'll start working on starter videos for the season. Thanks again for all your support. This is the Bobo Bobo Bloodshed, and I'm out of here. Peace.